uh, and our golden, um, 57, and an Aquarius. Hi, I'm Myra. Um, I'm 55 years old and I'm a Leo. Leo. And how long have you been together? One year yesterday. Yes, one year yesterday. So, happy anniversary. Thank, Thank you. you. Is this part of an anniversary celebration? Kind of, yeah. It turned out that the timing was perfect. Yes. Okay. And how did you meet? Online. Dating site. Was it one of the like the apps or like was it old school like eHarmony or Match or something? Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, it was a date. Yeah, it was uh, the dating uh, fish, site. Right? Plenty of fish. Oh, POF. Yes. Oh, so yeah, you guys are hip. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about that. Okay. Our second date, we went on a uh, we went to a concert. We mm -hmm. saw uh, yeah, yeah. a very small club in Brooklyn. Yes. We saw uh, gentleman Robert Gordon, uh, and he does some rock and roll music and Elvis type stuff. And I took her there, and despite all that, she still looked. <laughs> okay, so you say that because she doesn't like that kind of music, or? Well, it turns out, I guess, uh, you could say I, I, I wasn't familiar with him. I mean, I didn't never knew who the guy was, but I turn out that I know his song, one, one specific popular song that... Um, Fire. Fire. The Point of Sisters. <laughs> he did the, he did the, he did the original. So. <laughs> uh, well, I, um, first time I met her family, she lives in uh, uh, Jackson Heights, so I went to her home for, um, what was it? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And, uh, yeah, so I met uh, her mom and her sister. Uh, I met her son before that. Okay. But, uh, and, um, I found them to be very, very sweet and all like her. <laughs> so it uh, was very, uh, you know, it was, I guess, a little nervous meeting her, but uh, it worked out great. Was meeting the son separate on purpose or just worked out the scheduling of the uh, Well, after the came, well, only because um, we went to uh, Mother's Day. Uh, okay. We had a date on Mother's okay. Day to, to the gardens, and uh, so that was okay, got with, it. With, with the son, yeah. It wasn't planned. No, it was, but you know, obviously I wanted to meet her son. Yeah. You know, that's something I wanted to do. I had my own kids and hopefully she, she was going to meet them too. Right. Um, when did I first, I first met his son too, um, before everybody else. Um, so, I mean, it was, it was good. I, I really wanted to meet his children. I know it's a, uh, it's a part of him, and it's an uh, important part to do with the relationship with someone. And yeah. she just met my sister the and first I time yesterday. Yeah. So it's kind of, so it didn't, didn't always happen at the same time. It was yeah. over a period. Okay. I didn't have to come across any, any kind of uh, um, discrimination of any kind. Or, you know, you know, nobody's said anything when we've been out. Same, same with me. That's good. Which is a good thing. That's yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Two different faiths. Um, I'm Jewish. And, Catholic. And but um, she was at my and Passover yeah, Seder last night. Last night. And, and an experience of this religion. And we're going hopefully and, um, to her tomorrow. church tomorrow for mm -hmm. Easter. So we, you know, again, it's different faiths, but. Uh, both believe in the same thing, uh, you know, believe in God and believe in, uh, um, Doesn't have to be a conflict, I feel. Yeah, no, definitely not. Uh, we learn about each other's religion and, and uh, we accept, uh, there's a lot of similarities in them, so it's, uh, mm -hmm. that helps and it's, whatever differences there are, we respect each other. Right. Um. <laughs> well. <laughs> she, she probably handles it better than me, maybe a little bit. <laughs> when something gets really stressful, like yeah, I mean, today coming here being late because yeah, the trains were not running right, that was very upset. But He was well, upset about that. I was just like, let it go, let's just breathe, <laughs> yeah. today. Like, but, um, mm -hmm. 
any disagreements we have, you know, we, we discuss, we don't, uh, you know, we don't walk away from each other and mm -hmm. make sure to discuss and resolve it and before it gets to a point where, you know, we can affect the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And this helps. <laughs> okay, besides the kiss, <laughs> what makes your partner smile? He's sweet and that makes him smile. He's funny. Mm -hmm. He makes me laugh. Um, and he's very special. What was, I'm sorry, what was Yeah, what makes your partner smile? Oh, oh uh, well, I think um, going out, I think, uh, you know, I think Mara, you know, unfortunately hasn't really had the chance to do a lot of since she's been here in New York, a lot of sightseeing, a lot of, uh, um, you know, going out and to shows and that type of thing. So I try to take her to, you've seen a couple of Broadway shows, you've seen uh, the concerts. Concerts. You know, and I think um, you know, that puts a smile on my face that she's out and not sitting alone the whole time. <laughs> I can't think of. Um, well, I think we do a lot, you know, it doesn't have to be just sex, but we do a lot of cuddling mm -hmm. and, and uh, we just like to lie, lie next to each other and, and you know, talk. Sharing thoughts and thinking, mm -hmm. um, experiences with each other, you know, his family and anything going on with him and, and on my side. I think that makes me understand more, know more, and a lot of things are very similar to what I have to. Yeah, and to this, he doesn't have to be physical, yeah, yeah, being yeah. mental, and that's, yeah. that's one way. So, okay, so it's definitely the talking and just being vulnerable yeah. and sharing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how important is sex to you, or, as a couple? How? It's, it's very important. Yeah, it's, it's definitely important. I mean, uh, you know, that's, I think every couple, it's, it's uh, something that yeah, it's, it's, brings the two together. Uh, it's, it's special it's, moments to share. Yeah, together. it's expressing um, physically what we feel about each other. Very happy with, with my work. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I think uh, I think a lot of it's verbal um, mm -hmm. to say I love you and to express. You know, um, that, that love verbally, um, I don't admire some of it is a lot of gifts, uh, probably more than myself, but she likes to get, you know, the, the Valentine's Day, you know, make sure, make sure I'm giving her something. If I don't bring it, she's not all that happy sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, so for me, it is this verbal, uh, to say, you her saying I love you, or, uh, you know, how, you know, be nice to Presence in so many different ways, you know, text messages, calls. And, and quality time, I mean, spending, yeah. spending time together. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes we have where we go a week, week or two, and we just work and kids, you know, see yeah. each other, and it's, yeah. uh, we def you know, definitely uh, yearn to get together, even if it's just to uh, go to dinner or something. Yeah. I think that helps. Yeah. The simple things, definitely. Um, who said I love you first? Right. It was, uh, I didn't even realize was that, that was right? saying because it was so like, like quiet. I mean, it's so. No. He said, "Yeah." Right. Was it? Um, but yeah, I did say it. But I always maybe I said it low because I was afraid he yeah, wasn't ready to hear it yet. Was sure if that's what he said. I said it really fast and like wasn't sure he wanted to say it or just. No, I guess. You know, fear of her, her reacting like oh, I'm not ready for that yet. And so I get the first time I was kind of nervous. Yeah. What about me stands out the most to you? Love you. Yeah. What about me stands out the most to you? Um, I think your overall beauty, just not just physically, but intelligent. Your intelligence. Your, um, your sense of humor also, I think, is, uh, stands out. Um, but yeah, you 
Just looking at you. Oh, here we go. Ready? <laughs> what phobias have you overcome in your lifetime? What phobias? Huh. I don't think I have any. You never had it? Fear. Fear of um, getting hurt, I think. But so far, I'm with you. And there's always that fear anywhere, anyway, you know. So I think I'm trusting not to overcome that. Okay. What should a healthy relationship provide what? for us? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Healthy relationship, I guess. Um, you know, addressing, being able to uh, overcome any any uh, obstacles or any uh, bumps in the road, to mm -hmm. to you know work things out um, mm -hmm. and, and continue. Mm -hmm. um, uh, obviously, um, let's see. Um, also, should provide um, contentment, you know, with, with each other, mm -hmm. no matter what they're going through. If you were able, if you were to describe me as a superhero, who would it be? Oh, you would probably be the man of steel, my hero, Superman. Superman. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like that. Which song reminds you of me? Which song reminds you oh. of me? Um, what, wow. what song do you associate with me? Uh, let's see, there's a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I guess it could be. Uh, you can name all of it. <laughs> if we have time. Mm -hmm. I guess I can't help falling in love with you, but I always. Hmm. Because that's how I feel when I'm with you. Okay. Where do you see yourself living when you retire? Where do I see myself living? I'm still here in New York. I'm still going out with you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that would be nice. When did you know you wanted to be monogamous with me? Did I know? Mm -hmm. I really don't know the exact time. What does it mean, monogamy? You know, just to be. Just with you? Just with me. Yeah. I've always been like this before. When I date someone, I've always been monogamous. Just this. So when did you think when? that this is the person I want to be? Oh! Yesterday. <laughs> what? <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> I think maybe uh, two months after. Because when I first met you and you started going out for a second time, I was still um, um, emailing and texting other guys mm. that I've met on that side. Maybe about two months. Okay. okay. What is on your bucket list that we can do together this year? Okay. Bucket list. Well, I would like to, I uh, always wanted to travel across country, um, but I don't know if we'll be able to with work situations. That's definitely one thing I would love to do. Okay. Uh, if not, then I would like to take like a week. We never really went away together more than a few days, a couple of days. So I like to take like a week where it's just me and you and yeah. have a nice romantic uh, getaway away from New York and away from everything here. Is that good? Yes. Okay. What do you remember most about our first kiss? It being very sweet. What do I remember? Yeah. Nice and sweet. 
Do you know what song he was singing? I think it was after the concert. It was, it was after the, the concert was after. over, and yes, and we were on the train station. He was dropping me to take the train. Was it? Yeah. Was it in the train station? Was it after the concert was over? And while we were sitting there. Mm, it was in the train station. <laughs> I'm going to fight about this. Yeah, now. yeah. There's going to be a long <laughs> argument now. Which were, who were you kissing? Well, it wasn't me. It wasn't you. Oh, that, 